I knew from the moment I stepped on campus that this was um, a very special place. I've been really excited to graduate, but I've also been really kind of sad because I know that I'm going to have to leave behind a lot of friends. I'm so thankful for the opportunities that I've been given um, and to just truly learn from everyone around me here at Stanford. For most, their Sanford story began four years ago on move-in day. They started with smiles and freshman expectations. They leave inspired. I have a lot of feelings of what the heck am I doing, but I'm also extremely excited to be here. Everyone has been so nice, so helpful. Overall, I just feel like I've grown so much just relationally and definitely just as my own person, as an individual. The biggest change, spiritually, for sure. Spiritually in the sense where I learned how to relate to people on a new level, just because being here, there's so many different kinds of people coming from all different aspects of life. I just got to learn a lot of different worldviews, meet a lot of interesting people, and it's just been an immense blessing. Samford commencement ceremonies include 10 schools. These graduates leave with more than just a diploma. They leave with an empowering education. The things that I learned at Samford I wouldn't have gotten elsewhere. It never stopped feeling like a community. It never stopped feeling welcoming. And I do feel empowered that like I can go and step into my job and do good things and put more good into the world. Prepared is an understatement. I think I'm ready to go out into any job that, that I'm given and succeed. Not only do well, um, but, but thrive and kind of uh, hopefully rise to the top pretty quickly because I think here has been so difficult and so challenging, but that's what makes today so worth it. Is, uh, it has been hard and it has been difficult, and I couldn't have asked for a better experience in the, in the classroom. Over the course of the years, dating back to 1841, many things haven't changed at Samford. One in particular, its legacy, one of faith and tradition. First Peter 4.10 is to use the gifts that we have been given um, by Christ to serve others. And so that really has been something that I've been thinking about today and that I've really noticed in each one of the um, different speakers' um, speeches. I honestly believe like people are just really open with their faith here, and that's how that flow of conversation really gets it gets it going. You know, like, yo, I'm, I'm struggling for a test, and then a, a teacher, a friend will be like, yeah, I'll pray for you. And I really think that that grows everybody's faith and their relationship together. Congratulations, Class of 2018. Our hopes and prayers are with you. We sit in the shade of trees that we did not plant. It's for all time to come. This will be your alma mater. So wherever you go and whatever you do, you will carry our cherished hopes and dreams just as you carry your own. And for decades to come, we will cheer from this Alabama hillside as each day you engage your mind, your hands, your soul in all that you think and say and do. It is a great life, and it will be a great life. May God bless you and keep you this day and always. Thank you.